Hey guys, Carolina Gamer here again. Um, I want to show you, you know, some people ask me some questions, so I'm gonna give some answers. Um, one of the questions I was asked by somebody was what this up here was for, how it was programmed. Well, basically, that's just the pin header there, and then you have your DB25 cable connected here with the accepting header on the other side. This is really hard to do one handed. And, um, you know, once it's like that, you just plug that into the back of the computer, you're good to flash away. And what I like to do is, you know, once I get done flashing it, I just put, you know, cover on top of it so the pins aren't exposed. Um, this is the Xbox that's for sale. Um, if you want it, message me. I've had some people ask about it. It's still up. Uh, nobody, I've sent messages out, so this one might be gone. If you're still wanting one, um, message me again. I should have some next week. Uh, but I'm about to show you some more things today. I'm going to show you the new version of Zell booting up um, and explain to you what it does. So here we go. We'll just go ahead and boot this up. Again, you notice that it's a higher resolution. This is 1024 by 786 resolution over VGA. Also in this new version of Zell, um, also in the new version of Zell is DHCP support, so you automatically obtain an IP address, not the one that was hard coded in before. Um, this right here is actually new, a new um, SNES emulator. I'm about to show you it working here in a second. Uh, again, about the new the Zell that's on here it was updated to also add composite support. That's not, you know, RCA cables. I tried it with RCA cables, but it gives a weird grayish tint on the screen. It's actually, um, I think, 480i over component cables, red, green, blue, and it doesn't have to be HD. It still works. It's red, green, blue. Actually, you still have a pretty good image once it's on the TV. Um, and another thing, when this is running, Zell actually cuts off the center light. Um, that's, I don't know why they did that. I guess it's just to let you know that they're pretty beasty. And then you see the lights up here for the, make sure it's connected and the activity. Um, so yeah, let's just get ready to show you this new emulator. It does require two memory cards. One has your ROM on it. One has the files on it. Um, I don't know why it made it like that. So this is just, you know, things to come. But let's check this out. And the also the uh update to Zell makes Linux actually way more better. Um, easier to use, you can actually see more of the screen, so it's actually a lot better than it was when I first made the video yesterday. Um, again, this is a new, the newer SNES emulator. Um, it actually lets you load whatever ROM you want to load. Um, I mean, that's not saying that all of them are compatible, but that's saying that the ones I've tried, I've not had a problem with them. Um, but it does require two memory cards, so that's just an advancement, you know, to let you know what's coming. That hopefully in the future you'll be able to, you know, browse your ROMs or etc. Whatever you want to do. I don't know who made this. I'm pretty sure it was based off of TMBC's code, but I don't want to give credit to the wrong person. So if it wasn't, I'm sorry. Um, but it's actually, you know, it's you know the sound's still not there. The video still has some glitches sometimes, but it's maybe improved just a slight bit, if not much at all. It's barely noticeable. There's still, sometimes it will still do some weird stuff when you turn it on. Um, but, yeah. Um, I still plan on making a video for all of you out there that want to try this yourself, showing you you know how to flash the console once you have it connected but the problem is I don't have any more to flash I've already you know flashed all of mine so if anybody's got any donor consoles out there let me know um, but again this 
console is for sale. I've had a couple people asking about it. So if you're still wanting one after this one's gone, um, I should have uh, a couple more up pretty soon. I've just got to get some cases for them. So, uh, yeah. And again, that's Carolina Gamer with the update on Zell, the console that's for sale, the updated emulator that should be out pretty soon. Now I heard them talking about trying to find web hosting space for it so that others should try it. Um, people interested in this console as well as any others that I'll be offering, they will be ready to go. Flash with Zell. Um, you know, basically plug and play if you have the stuff to play on it. Uh, they'll be already flashed. There's different packages that can be added where I can have, you know, the cable that I showed you, I can have one of those with it. Um, or not with it. Also, you get all the key vault information, all the information that's on the console, you get it in the separate disc. So, for those of you that are interested in maybe um, just messing around with the flash, you know, you can't, you can mess it up, but with having all the backups that I have for you, you should be fine and not mess it up. Um, but I'm about to just show you one more thing, show you just a quick little bit of how that Linux new bootloader, how it looks with the updated resolution, like you'll just be able to tell from this quick little bit of how much more accessible that's going to be. And I might later make a um, video showing how it is way better. Um, it won't be a full boot video like the last one, but I will make something just so you guys can see. So, give it a second to load up. The load, uh, Loading screen. Here we go. And there you go. You see, you know, it's a lot better. You can tell the resolution has definitely changed. So, again, guys, Carolina Gamer. If you need anything, message me, PM me, video link me, whatever, whatever, whatever. Twitter, Carolina Gamer. Uh, post regularly on there. And that's about it, guys.